am Targaryen on both sides. Seeing this, my father, King Aegon, legitimized me in addition to bestowing upon me Blackfire, the sword of Targaryen kings. Rumors abound that my half-brother King Daeron II is the bastard of my uncle Aemon the Dragon Knight, making me the rightful heir to the Iron Throne. I will claim what is mine. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Crusader Kings 2, The Black Dragon Rises. This is a new series featuring the Blackfire Rebellion, the first time we've ever seen it on the channel. And I know we have a lot of, or at least I have a lot of different series I have planned. We've got a High Tower series coming up as well as many other potential, potential things I want to do. But we haven't had a Blackfire series here in a while, in a while, ever, period. It's, this is history. And uh, essentially I wanted to do this because it was an easy series to get into. I imagine making the thumbnail art and stuff like that will all be fairly easy and it should be relatively interesting. Plus, I'm not really familiar with this time period. I'm, I, I, I know who I know who Daemon is. I know who Daemon Blackfire is. I know he's married to a Taroshi woman. They have tons of children, and I know who Princess Shiera Seastar is. And I think our opponent in the war is King Daeron the Good. And from my understanding, uh, King Daemon is amazing. Uh, he's a true leader, a true king. Uh, and Daeron is okay, but uh, Daeron, I think, is actually considered the king, but King Daemon believes he has a stronger claim. Um, uh, Lore-wise, historically, the uh, King Daemon loses. I think he dies in the Field of Arrows or something, or or, or, or something. I, the Red Grass Veil or some, there's some, some kind of battle where Daemon gets bested. I think because he chooses to sword duel somebody instead of just winning the battle. Um, big mistake on Daemon's part. Big mistake. I have played this series before. Uh, this, this scenario before. And uh, last time it was kind of a curb stomp. We we destroyed uh, we destroyed our enemies pretty easily. I'm not sure if that was working as intended or just complete luck. We're going to find out. And the goal of this series is I want to get House Blackfire as the new ruling house of uh, of of Westeros. The Targaryen dynasty is outdated and weak. The Blackfires the Blackfires rise to claim what is theirs. And Daemon will lead the way. Let's see, we got a Blackfire added to our treasury. Excellent. Uh, S Elston. Okay, so we've got 15,000 men. Apparently, we're fighting our allies. That's kind of strange. Uh, what, 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 what land do we own? We've got the Bram's Fort, right, which is down here. And we've got the Blackfire Host. So I think if we lose the Bram's Fort, that's not going to be good. That's not going to be a good thing. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go with a classic King's Landing rush. We're probably going to have to carve our way down to the capital. And there are no dragons in this scenario. All the dragons are gone. That was a mistake I made in the past. I thought during the Blackfire Rebellion was another rebellion with dragons. No dragons at this point. They're all dead. They're all dead and gone. We can actually go and look here. Show me the dragons. No dragon. Oh, oh my god. No, but there are eggs. That's fucking concerning. That's not good. Uh, it says we can access the dragon dreams. Maybe it's an option. It's an option. Uh, Daemon has some really attractive uh, half-sisters. Kind of kind of weird. Kind of weird, I know. But uh, it's, hey, that's, that's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, before we begin the war to take the Iron Throne to claim what is ours, we need to get a, uh, we need to get a better crown. I don't know what this, this bullshit little crown is. That's kind of ridiculous. Ooh, fine set of armor. Excellent. And Blackfire, we need to kill Dayron and take. Take the Iron Throne, but first let's set up our council. Um, yeah, that's not really, uh, <laughs> that's not really what I had in mind for, uh, for just this year. Damn, two is considered an incompetent diplomat. I, I think he'd be considered even less than that. I'd say he's not a diplomat, period. Um, maybe we can get somebody who is. So we got Dana, or your mother, Dana, the, the Defiant. We got Bertrand, commander of the Blackfire host. No, we need him to be doing command. Let's have our mother do uh, justiciar type stuff. Agor, the Bitter Steel, is in our armies. Now, we only have Bram's Fort, so I'm not abandoned holding. Oh, fort level plus 9,000. So, fort level. Oh, I see. They've arbitrarily increased the. Um, the fort level, so that Bram's Fort can't be, you know, so 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 that uh, King Daeron can't just do a Bram's Fort rush and, uh, you know, instantly wreck us. They'll actually have to stop our host. Who are our allies? Uh, nobody. Really? Oh, okay. So King Daeron has got uh, the Westerlands, the Veil, the Trident, the oh god, the Reach. 
and Dorn. We have a bunch of minor lords, but uh, he has all the big guys. He's got all the big guys, and we can see our allies are all over Westeros. Oh boy. Okay, so let's get, you know, if I can stop fucking dithering and do what I'm supposed to do. Go ahead and build a spy network in King's Landing. Go ahead and proselytize in Bramsford to serve the court. Uh, so descent mother in King's Landing. Oversee the realm. Thank you. Regent will be... Who will be our regent? Uh, let's pick our wife. Our wife will be a regent. We need some of the best bodyguards. Because I, I actually think we're going to be getting in danger. Oh, yeah, the Red Tusk. The Red Tusk. Excellent. There's some really good warriors here with us. Awesome. Uh, Keeper of the Swans, it'll be you. This will be you. Auto assign commanders. I just don't want to have to deal with this shit once the uh, once the war starts rolling out. The war's already begun, but uh, let's see. High Almoner Quentin. Okay, we'll make uh, we'll make Aubrey the Cupbearer. Paramount Knight will be you, Bertrand Red Tusk. King's Justice will be Quentin Fireball. God, these guys have such cool names. They have such cool names. Maybe we can get somebody better than Maester Baynor. Oh, no, we're not going to have our wife. We, uh, so, but, um, yeah, we'll pick Elmer. All right, but the rest of the commanders are all pretty damn good. Council's all set up. Intrigue, auto-stop plots. Um, is that it? Is that all we need to worry about? Oh, okay. All righty. So, pick a character focus. Uh, okay, so normally I rush that. Let's not rush that right now. Let's, let's wait a little bit to see what kind of focus we actually need. Ambition is obviously going to be to win the war. We need to win the war. Um, one child lacks Prince Aegon, your son. Is he our heir? Yes, Prince Aegon. He is High Valyrian of the Blackfire line. And he's cruel and ambitious and brave. Good for him. Make him struggle. Make him fight. All right. So let's let's get the war started. The Valyrian Freehold's politics is dominated by 40 families of great wealth, high birth, and strong sorcerer's ability known as Dragon Lords. They spoke the High Valyrian language uh, and had great skill in shaping stone. Incest and polygamy was a common practice among the blood of old Valyria. I am the blood of old Valyria. Old Valyria. Holy shit, we have a lot of soldiers. Uh, 15,000 Gareth. Uh, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, so can Daemon be a leader of the center? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Inspiring leader, aggressive leader, so we'll always be in an advantage if we... Uh, yeah, we'll have you have that flank. Gareth the Grey, our master of coin. Who can lead the center? Is there anyone who can lead the center? Uh, unyielding organizer. Hmm, that could be really, really useful. Bertrand, you're, f you're who's a flanker? He's, I mean, we've got some great so individual soldiers, but um, they don't have the greatest... Uh, See, he's a siege leader. Hmm, we might need him. We'll keep Aubrey in reserve for when we get to King's Landing. But we're going to have Bertrand the Paramount Knight, the Red Tusk, Agor Bittersteel. I like Gareth, though, because he gives us that movement bonus. Movement speed with plus 20%. Let's get, uh, so we got the Red Tusk, or do we want Agor? Agor Bittersteel. He's also a great, uh, he's an organizer, too. Sorry, Bertrand, we need Agor. We're gonna go... We're gonna go and rush King's Landing. And then we're gonna switch to Aubrey. And uh, he'll give us a siege bonus. And we'll take King's Landing and King Dayron and all of his brothers and sisters and wives. And his children. Prince Baylor Breakspear. Yep. Our bitter rival. Alright, no problem here. Go for King's Landing. The Bloodline House Blackfire lays claim to traditional ancestral lands. Lands that must be reclaimed. I claim these titles from my house. Excellent. Daemon the Black Dragon. Oh, shit. Only two knights of House Dane may carry their ancestral great sword, Dawn, forged from the heart of a fallen star. Of all the House Dane's members, Sir Ulrich Dane alone has proven himself worthy of his honor. Sir Ulrich the Sword of the Morning. Is he a commander? Is he on our side? No. Damn it. Damn it. Good for him. Yes, I kind of wish the Sword of the Morning were fighting for us, but uh, it is not to be. Not to be. And we are rushing towards... Yeah, you can... So, so we got that double bonus from two organizers in our armies. We are... We, we are hauling ass. Um, it seems that this army of 4,000 is going to escape. We can't... Uh, we can't allow that to happen. They'll return back to King's Landing. Yeah, we need to cut them off. Okay... Now, this is what I want to see, but our, our movement is locked, so we're going to have to... They're going to Bramsfort. 
Between Bramsfort and King Zion, there's no rivers, right? All right, nope. So let's go south here, and we want to crush this army. ASAP. Where are they going now? All right, they're going down to Faring Cross. Let's wait. We'll wait here, and then we'll ambush them here, and then we'll go back to King's Landing. Is he, um, he's 41. Okay. Wait till their movement's locked, and ambush. Attack! Here we go. The Black Dragon descends upon you. Excellent. Oh, the Blood Raven. Oh, shit. We need to get, we need to get rid of him. We need to get rid of him because, uh, 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 the, God, what is his name? The Blood Raven. Yes, the Blood Raven is actually, uh, he kills King Daemon. Uh, so we need to be careful of him. He is a legendary archer. You're in the thick of it during the Battle of Faring Cross, and your tally of slain enemy soldiers has impressed even the most grizzled sergeants in your army. As you clean the blood splatter off your sword and armor, the men cheer you for the bravery you displayed in securing this victory. Excellent. Now the question is, do we pursue? Do we pursue or do we, um... Hmm. So this is, this is a tough question because the enemies, our enemies, have many, many soldiers. So the Lannisters can raise 20,000 men. The Tyrells can raise 30,000 men. Uh, the Stormlands, I think, are staying independent. Yes, they are. All right. Actually, you know what we could do? I wonder if we could arrange a marriage. No, we can't. Oh, maybe we could. Arrange a betrothal between you and your daughter Daenerys. They would accept. We build alliances, and we get allies. And you're an enemy. The Martells are an enemy, but we could get the Stormlands on our side. The Vale is an enemy. Uh, the North is remaining uh, out of this. They are 20, 23,000 men. Arrange a betrothal between, uh, let's see, Barthagan and Dana? Yeah, that doesn't seem like a very good idea. How about a betrothal? Daenerys has already been promised. Ooh. That could gain us another ally. Cause, so here's the thing. Our army is really, really good right now. And King's Landing is open to us. But if we spend too much time hunting down uh, Dayron's individual armies... This will allow our enemies to uh, 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 deal with our allies and mobilize against us. And if they get all their armies together, they will overwhelm us. Because all of them together, they can, unfortunately, uh, uh, just steamroll us. So I think we're going to use this victory. And we're going to move on King's Landing. And we're going to take the capital. We're not going to be able to capture King Daeron. Because he's in hiding. Mm. But if we take King's Landing and we capture his children... That might be all we need to secure victory. Alright, that's what we'll do. And then we'll switch to Aubrey to get that little siege bonus. Here we go. That's what I want to see. To the chivalrous charmer. Daemon, your wisdom must be legendary. He accepts our betrothal. Excellent. We will form an alliance with the Stormlands. Bring them into this war. Excellent. And he agrees to form an alliance? No. Uh, we don't have any money either. Shit. Let's try to sway him. So as the war is going on, we'll try to sway him. And I'm actually going to have... I accept your alliance. And we can call him into the war. Call him into the war. Give us another 20,000 men. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually get my... Okay, my mother is... Can we get somebody better? Bertrand? Quentin? No. Surely we can invite somebody to... To our side, who's fantastic. I mean, she, surely females can be the master of laws, right? Right, there's a lot of females that'll join. That's not too surprising. If that doesn't work, we'll have uh, Sir Peter join us. And then we can get a good master of laws who will uh, be able to... Uh, what is it? What, 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 what word am I thinking of? Make Barthagan like us? The Black Sword. What a cool name. All right. So we're sieging King's Landing. We don't need to move, so let's get Gareth out of here, and let's get, uh... Shit, maybe we can get a good commander. Um, who has Siege? Does anyone have Siege who's a really good commander who's willing to join us? They got a lot of flankers and direct leaders and stuff. And I mean, if we can get, um... No, I don't see many people that are good with, um... With, uh, Sieging. Alright, so we got Arthur. All right, we'll invite you. We're going to switch out uh, Gareth for... Now, here's kind of the downside is 
We will get a bonus for Siege, but if we're attacked, uh, we're going to have some um, subpar commanders. But here's the thing. We can flip our commanders on a dime. So if we know there's an incoming enemy, we can switch to all of our commanders who are uh, specialists at holding the line of defense. So we can we can kind of goad them in that way. We've got Aubrey who's giving us the uh, 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 siege bonus. Are we losing money? No, we're not. Excellent. Okay, that's what I like to see. We so, but we can't let the enemy get any momentum because then they'll start winning. All right, so Anara is here. We're gonna replace Mother with uh, not Anara. Well, that's kind of shit. We'll have to wait for Sir Peter. Apparently, they apparently only women of very high status can be Master of Laws, and we have Sir Arthur and Sir Peter. Excellent. All right, let's switch you out for Sir Peter. We're gonna have improved diplomatic relations with the North. Because we now have the uh, Stormlands as an ally. Um, where, where, where are the Stormland armies? Arian, where, 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 where are your men? You're just hiding. Oh, is it, oh, okay. So he's 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 currently anticipating joining us. All right. And then what we need to do is get our next commander. Who? Let's switch Brian Flowers for Arthur. And then we need to get Arthur to replace Agor. So that we... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So we have two people who are siege commanders. Alright. Does that make much of a difference? It should. Of course, I'll honor my obligation to answer your call to war. And now the Stormlands has joined us. Excellent. Now we just need to keep holding uh, King's Landing. And we need to make uh, uh, the Par Lord Paramount of the North like us. So, Mace, so Sir Agor Bittersteel, I'm actually going to have you train the children. Make the children uh, 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 prodigies in combat. And because we have so little money, I don't really know what we can do. And I'm not really sure what I want to pick for a focus yet. So I kind of want to I want to kind of keep my options open. But we need to take King's Landing. Which I think we're going to be able to do. We're going to be able to do. Now, they've rallied their forces under, uh, uh, under Master Valar. But I'm not really concerned about that. I'm, I want to take... King's Landing. So we'll hold on to this when we see big ol' hosts. Like if we, when we start seeing Doomstacks ap approach King's Landing, we need to prepare to repel the invaders. Um, we have so many kids. You know what we could do? We could actually get allies across the narrow sea, but they have to like us though. Otherwise, they won't join. They won't join us. Is there anyone here who particularly likes us? Not really. I'm thinking. I'm thinking, let's, uh, let's see, what is your, Volantis? No, there's not really any way I can get them to like us either. Hmm, how about the Iron Isles? Do you like us? No, you really don't like us, and you're a lunatic. Hmm. Well, no, we just have to kind of be patient. We got everything is still kind of up in the air, and our allies are mobilizing against us. We're holding on to King's Landing. But the Sir Gareth Justice has brought peace to a troubled county. Excellent. I'm the rightful ruler. It is my city. Excellent. Um, okay, yeah. Our enemies are rallying. We, we, yeah, they're... Oh, 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 geez. Come on, take King's Landing already. Come on, we're, we're almost halfway. God, this fucking city is taking forever. They, they're going to be coming down on top of us real soon. Real soon. Can we assault it? Nope. Because we do not lead the salt. We do not lead the siege. Oh god, we got 33,000 men. Well, that's fine. If all of our allies just uh, dogpile King's Landing, perhaps it is time I asked uh, Lord Paramount Barthagam to spend some time with me. It is probably the fastest way for me to gain his trust. I will ask him. Will he form an alliance now? No, uh, we need to keep working on our disposition. But if, you know, we might be able to get uh, the north on our side. Barth again was happy to oblige me. Excellent. Somehow we're finding time to, uh... <laughs> oh, come on! I tried my best to be conciliatory with Barth again, but we simply couldn't come to an agreement about the importance of well-educated military personnel within one's entourage. Ah, oh, Daemon. Screwed by the gods, it seems. Hmm. That's not good. And let me guess, you're getting, uh, you're winning your battles now? Occupation of Blackheart. Keep in Blackheart. Well, when we take the capital, and we take his children. Actually, some of them are in command, so... I don't know, maybe rushing King's Landing wasn't the best decision, but... It's better than nothing. Can I attach them to my army? The following units are attached. 
I see. No, I, I'm just, I'm kind of thinking that we just, we, we hold to the take King's Land and get our allies all here. Um, the attrition's gonna be pretty bad, but that's okay. You just wait. You wait, Dayron, we're coming for you. But we do have to keep an idea. See, now they're taking attrition over here when they try to take Bram's Fort. And the Red Keep is falling to our men. Why am I not leading the assault, though? It's kind of weird. Oh, it's because my... King Dayron has called somebody into the rebellion. Okay. We have taken the Red Keep. Um, unfortunately, we didn't take any important allies. Let's see, are they movement locked? They're going to Dalston Keep. So let's just keep taking everything. And just keep taking the King's Gate. The Siege of King's Landing. Well, uh, we didn't capture any of his people. That's kind of shit. Ares is in Amberley. He's in Dragonstone. Hmm. Maybe we should have captured Dragon... I don't know, though. Dragonstone's hard to capture. I think we're going to have to win some battles after this. Ooh. But you know what? We might be able to... Maybe we should just take all of King's Landing, or maybe we should move on to the enemies. Adadale, they're moving to Adadale. Prince Marin, he will have the advantage. But we will, we will attack. Oh, wait, what? Sir Aubrey Ambrose wants to get married. Marry as you please. I cannot. And now our allies have all joined us in, a, in an unstoppable host. There, that's how we do it. Move on to these men here. Where I think now that we've got 45,000 men, I'm pretty sure we can crush any host. <gasps> They're moving to Dalston Keep. We have to get there. Here. King Daemon Blackfire, is he just causing your, uh, in your struggle? Thank you, Sir Lorna Fang Tower. We need another 800 men. All right. Come on. Come on. Okay. And then we will... Why did we lose so many men? They're splitting up. Can I attach you guys? What the fuck? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. Uh, so my allies are being annoying now. Attach to always follow army of Lord Silas. Could you guys attach to me? That, that'd be a lot, that'd be a lot better, I think. Because right now, they've got a lot of men moving into Faring and Cross. Ye yeah, what are my allies doing? Wait a minute, if I attach here... Can I command them to do stuff? No. I have to let them tell me what to do. That's kind of bullshit. Mm, detach from following the army of Lord Silas. Come on, you... Follow me, you assholes! Nope, they're not going to follow me. They're going to go off and do their own thing now. That's kind of... Where are they going? I think they're going to go down here. Hmm... Let's go... Let's just chill here for now. Yeah, they're all doing their own thing now. It's kind of... It's kind of annoying. I, I needed them to follow me so I can destroy this army here of Lord Royce. Alright, well, I've got stupid allies. <laughs> stupid fucking allies. That are ruining everything. But we need to make sure King's Landing doesn't fall... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are you guys all following me? Let's see, combat will start between King Daemon and Lord Paramount Donald of the Vale, and that's who leads this, isn't it? No. Lord Paramount Donald. Westerlander Army. They're all marching into King's Landing, are they not? Yes. So let's see. Army of Lord Royce will arrive on the fourth on the eighth of the fourth moon. We will arrive on the first of the fourth moon. And they'll vastly outnumber us. By about two to one. But we will get here first. And it seems our movement is already locked. Okay. So we need to be prepared to uh, 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 be attacked. Oh, shit. So do I have commanders who are good with um, defense? Because we're about to be... We're going we're gonna to be attacked here soon. Let's see. Quentin the Fireball. The Red Tusk. Are you guys doing something more important? I'm not sure. Let's see. Aubrey Bertrand is here. Let's see. Heavy infantry leader. Trickster. We need the best commanders now uh, possible. Let's see. Direct leader. Leading the center. You are... Who are you? Courtier of... Leads the rear. Morale damage minus 10%. 
Mm. The fireball. I'm not sure what happened, but uh, my allies, my allies are failing me, and we're, we're we're committed now. Yes, we're committed now, and we don't really have anyone that we can get. So they're coming towards us too. They're still coming in on us on the eighth of the fourth moon, and our allies are coming in here. So maybe they'll get their shit together in time. I'm starting to think Anara might fancy me make a move. Uh, let's but let, 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 let let's not do that. Oh, okay. I'm kind of fucking scared now because they outnumber us big, big time. And the people, we do have our allies coming in though, but they're going to be a little late. They're going to be a little late. Let's see. They will arrive on on all sorts of different times. Who has the largest amount of men? It's hard to see. Um. 5,000? Is it 5,000? 7,000. They'll arrive on the fort the 15th. That's that's too late. Shit. How about you guys? 4,000 arrive on the 4th of the of the of the fourth. Okay, so they'll they'll buoy us up a little bit. This is going to be fucking close, ladies and gentlemen. We got a Lannister army coming in from the side. What happened to all my commanders who had like uh, defensive traits? I feel like I'm being cheated here. Let's see Elmer Craycall. Um, now you're a defender too, Byron. Quentin is a is an inspiring leader, and he's a trickster, and he's a skilled fighter. He's got a marshal of twenty three. Bertrand the Red Tusk is a trickster and a heavy infantry leader and formidable fighter. Hmm. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens here. Maybe we can get we can kill their commanders in single combat. When are they going to arrive? The eighth. Oh God! Tomorrow. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The face-off. And battle's been joined, and they vastly outnumber us. And let's see, they've got Prince Brendan the Blood Raven again, Clayton Hayfort, and Sir Wyless. Let's see, 21 command. He has... Clayton has 17 command, and he's a direct leader. Wow, that's fucking good. And the fucking Blood Raven. That son of a bitch. And it looks like our center's already breaking. God damn it. Wait a minute. Lord Gormon of Cockleswind? You're not who I put in the center, are you? Oh. Is the game playing dirty tricks on me? I think they are. I think they are. Okay. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. You were separated from your men in the castle battle and now find yourself in the midst of war as you scan the field and try to rejoin your forces. You see Lord Devon break through the enemy ranks and charge you. Lord of the Whispers, you're not a commander for the army. Who the hell are you? It seems we're getting the better. It, it seems that our flank is getting the better of Sir Wyless, commander of the Iron Throne. And the center and the other flank are holding. Somehow, somehow, we're outnumbered, but we're holding our own in the glorious battle in Blackwater Bay. But... I am going to have to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are as excited for this new series as I am. It's been it's it's been a clincher already, and it and 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 the fate of House Blackfire rests upon the edge of a blade. But that will have to take place in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, this has been Crusader Kings to the Black Dragon Rises. I have been the Golden Joe Oblivion, and until next time, I will see you all later. <laughs>